Those essential shoes we all need for the fall winter season. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My goal for my channel, make style simple and really help you get your style back on track. One of the ways that I've always done this with clients and with you all here on YouTube is by talking about basics. There are certain basics that your wardrobe needs in order to function. So you also should have some basics for your shoes and boots. I wanna focus in on 10 pairs that I think you should have for the fall winter season. These are all shoes and boots that will be the heavy hitters in your closet. They're the ones you reach for again and again and again and again. And so they're really important shoes and boots. And I'm gonna talk about different ways you can modify along the way. I'm also gonna talk about, you know, if you wanna step up your game a little bit, some things you might wanna consider adding. Shall we get started? Let's do it. Talk about shoes. It's like one of my favorite topics ever. I love shoes. The first essential pair of shoes that we all need are a pair of flats that are comfortable that we can walk in. A lot of you had recommended Rothy's, this brand that I had not heard of before. So I went ahead and I got a pair of black knit textured Rothy's. They are pointed toe, so I felt like they looked pretty modern. I also liked the texture. They are very comfy. They do come with these separate insoles that you can buy to make them even more comfortable. And they do have a rubber sole so you don't slip around. They run really narrow, so just be aware of that. I have a narrow foot and they're even like a little tight on me. Are they my favorite flats? No, I think I'd still go with the Sam Edelman Felicia or the Sam Edelman leopard print flat that I featured during the Nordstrom sale. I think that would probably be my all time favorite, but a black pair is gonna be more versatile. So thinking about getting a pair of black flats, that could be Cole Haan, that could be AGL, that could be Sam Edelman, that could be Rothy's, that could be Teak's, whatever brand that you prefer. I happen to think the ones I just mentioned are the most comfortable. And if you missed it, I did a whole video on flat shoes and the most comfortable. And what's really invaluable in that video besides the content itself are all of your comments. So you all had great suggestions when it came to flat shoes. So if you missed that one and you want to know more about flats or do a little bit more research on flats, definitely go back and watch that one. The second pair of shoes that I think we all need is a pair of black heels. Let me add a caveat to that. If you can't wear heels, obviously Obviously, you're gonna skip this one, right? You're gonna do something different. You're gonna add another pair of black shoes to your shoe drope. But if you can wear heels, I have two pairs I wanted to talk about. The first is this pair. Low heels are really hard to find, especially low cute heels. I love this Dorsey cutout. You see the, the cutout right here by Sam Edelman. These are so comfortable, so lovely, so chic, so classic, but still feel modern and cool. The other pair of pumps that I love are these. These are by Jimmy Choo. They're called the Romy Pump, and I've had them for a couple years. I wear them all the time. I wear them like on date night. I wear them to like a party or a dinner party. I'll wear them during the holiday season. There are always occasions where I wear my black heels. So if you work in an office, I think you're gonna wanna go with this one. If you want one for like holiday, party, date night, that kind of thing, I would go with this one. But again, if you can't wear heels, I'd put another black flat on your list because you're gonna need at least two pairs of cool flats. So maybe you do one black flat and one of the leopard print flats I talked about before. The third pair of shoes I think we all need is a pair of neutral skin tone leg lengthening heels. Shall I say it again? If you can't wear heels, we're gonna swap these out for flats. These pumps are by Ann Taylor. I love this scallop detail. I hadn't like bought shoes from Ann Taylor in a while. And then I loaded up this summer because they had so many cute options. I'm blown away by these. Like, I love the way they look. I love the way they fit. I love the way they feel. They're comfortable for heels. There's like a disclaimer there. Comfortable for heels. <laughs> you know, they're not like something you're gonna run around town in, run errands in, but you need a great leg lengthening office pump. These are awesome. These are also awesome, you know, again, for those date nights, for those dresses and skirts where you want something that really elongates the leg. Another option that might be a bit more modern and less classic is something like these. These are a suede, the color is called mushroom. These I wore a ton. Again, leg lengthening, comfortable for heels, and cool, modern, fresh, exciting, you know, not just like the same old, same old. So you could go either direction, or you could do both. 
right? Because I said you might want to do like the basic and then add a couple of fun things in there. The next pair of shoes that we all need to have in our closet is a pair of black low-heeled booties. I remember people asking me if booties were just a fad and if they were going to stick around. Here we are still talking about booties. I have three pairs of booties I want to show you. So when you're thinking about your booty, obviously I would get something with a low heel. That's a prerequisite. It has to have a low heel. It has to be comfortable. For me, it has to have a side zip. I don't want to try and slip on, slip off a booty that's a little bit taller. What I wanted to show you are three of my favorites. So this one is actually a comfort booty. It's by Echo, E-C-C-O. And I like about this booty that it's both black and brown. You're covering all your bases there, right? Totally versatile, neutral. This is not a waterproof booty and it's not warm, which could be an issue for you if you live in a cool climate. But I think just in terms of a great fall booty, that you can wear every day, that you know you don't have to worry about your feet and the comfort level. It also goes with everything. These are really it. The second pair of booties I wanted to show you is this pair by Everlane, another low heeled Chelsea booty, side zip. You see that's a prerequisite for me. And then these are just a beautiful leather. It's really soft. It molds to your foot, so it's a little bit stiff when you first put it on, but it really doesn't take that many wears to mold. You can see it's already molding. It's like got my bunny in right here, <laughs> which is just a bone, people. It's not gross. It's a bone. Anyway, so it molds to your foot, and it's just a beautiful booty. Third pair of booties I wanted to show you is this pair. It's got a hidden wedge, and it's a shiny patent leather. These are by Aquatalia, and these are waterproof. So if you really need something that's waterproof, but also chic and sophisticated that will go with everything in your wardrobe, I would suggest this booty. And then if you need a booty that's warm, waterproof, that you can extend into the winter season, you must look at the line Blondo. I will put a couple of recommendations below, but those are lined with wool and they're comfortable. So they're warm, comfortable, and waterproof, okay? So those are like the perfect rainy fall into winter type booty. Okay, we talked about the low heel booty, but now I wanna talk about the dressy booty. And I think this is another must have. Dressy booties are different than your regular everyday Chelsea booty or low heel booty because you can wear them with skirts and dresses. That's the key distinction. They're gonna be dressier, they're going to be elevated, and you wear them with things that are dressier. So this would be the traditional dressy side zip booty. Gotta love a side zip. And these are by Louise AC. Louise AC is the wife of Vince Camuto. Her shoes are very comfortable, just like his shoes. These are a great dressy booty, easy to get on, easy to get off, comfortable. This is the pair I probably love the most to dress up in. I just love the like sleek stiletto heel, so sexy and fabulous. And then I love the pointed toe. I love the sock booty aspect. It really clings to the leg. And so if you wear it with tights, I think it's a really sleek, sophisticated, sexy look. You can also wear it without tights, but I feel like it's a more of a lengthening effect when you do wear it with tights and skirts or dresses in the winter or the fall. With these, you're just gonna have to have your husband drop you off at the door. They are not super comfortable, but they're also manageable. You can walk in these, you just can't walk for blocks and blocks and blocks in these. The next must-have pair of shoes is a pair of sneakers, and I love that sneakers are very trendy right now. I think in in terms of function, it doesn't get better than a sneaker. So if you haven't embraced this trend yet, I highly recommend you try it. And I know a lot of you feel like, ah, oh, it makes me feel frumpy and shorter and stockier and all that. So I have a workaround. These, it's like a three or four inch wedge. I love these sneakers. They take a little bit of breaking in, like I would say six to seven wears, but they're Awesome. So I wear these all the time to travel in. So I have this pair of lighter camo and then I have this pair that's black and blue camo. I feel like, you know, it's casual, but it also gives me some height, which I love. But if I don't want to wear the wedge heel, I can always pull out my Vejas and these are really chic and lovely for sneakers. The only thing with these is that the leather is really stiff. So it takes a long time to break these in. We're talking about weeks, maybe months. Keep that in mind. Like you're gonna need to give yourself some time with these 
in order to properly break them in. Like I still feel like I am breaking these in. So I would say one pair of sneakers is a must. Just be thinking about what you want and what makes the most sense for you. Do you want the wedge or not? Do you want white? Do you want black? Do you want trendy? Do you want classic? I would go with something that you're very comfortable in, that you really are drawn to, and work around that. Next, I wanna talk about knee-high boots. This is not one of those things that you need to have loads of them. You only really need one pair. If you're only going to get one pair, there's certain things I would look for in the booty. I would look for something with a modern toe, I would look for a stacked short-ish heel like this one. And I would look for one in a neutral color like this brown tone. This color will go with both blacks and browns. And that's one of the reasons why if you're only gonna do one, I would do this color, kind of like a cognac or honey brown. If you wanna add an extra pair, then I would consider getting also a black knee-high pair. And you could do the same thing with the stacked chunky heel, or you can go more like this route where it's more of a specialty boot. So this one is still surprisingly versatile, but it's definitely more of a sexy statement boot because of the texture. It's that croc embossed texture and also the stiletto heel. These are by Shoots. But for maximum versatility, go with that small-ish stacked heel almond toe brown tone color. I think it's great to have a pair of statement shoes in your closet that you can pull out when you're really, you know, wanting to look a bit special. You wanna wear something that is sexy or just festive or for a special date night or for traveling and you wanna really step up the game. It's nice to have a pair of statement shoes, something that really pops and stands out as being different and unique. I probably have a lot of statement shoes. <laughs> I only brought two pair to show you. This is one pair that I love. It's by Aquazura and this is called the Amazonian. So it's like a full lace up shoe. And you can also do something like this in black or you could do like a cool gold tone, something that has some pop. So these are really standout shoes. I also love that they're leg lengthening for me because it is really my skin tone color. But you could also go this route where you just do like an animal print booty. And these are by Halogen from Nordstrom. They're under $100. Really sexy, really fun, sassy, interesting, standout, pop, not gonna break the bank. Reasonably comfortable for heels. Aquazora, by the way, makes gorgeous flats. So if you're looking for a standout shoe or a statement shoe that is a flat, I would definitely look at that line and I will put a couple suggestions below and definitely I'll put a suggestion for flats and a lower price point too. The next pair of shoes that I think is important to have or consider adding to your shoe drobe is a pair of rain boots. This is especially true if you live in a climate where it rains a lot and then it rains all day. They're great if you walk to work and it's rainy. They're also just great when you're out and about running errands and it's wet and damp and rainy and yuck and there are puddles. It's just a very chic way to keep your feet and your body protected from the rain. I have a Burberry pair of rain boots I invested in about five years ago, but you don't have to spend that much on your rain boots. You can get a great pair even from Walmart. Just be aware that rain boots tend not to breathe that well. <laughs> so you may wanna size up a half a size with your rain boots just to give your feet a little breathing room. So I feel like sometimes if you get your regular size, your foot is like, claustrophobic in the boot and it doesn't breathe and so it gets really hot and sweaty. So that's just something to think about. The last pair of shoes that I think we all need, unless you live in a really hot climate, like Southern California, Florida, parts of Texas, you may need a pair of snow boots. One of the heavy hitters is just a pair of slip-on Uggs. I actually, these are a small wedge, I actually wear my bigger wedge Uggs more often, but they're slip-on, slip-off, but they're low enough where it doesn't bother me and I don't need a side zip for those. But these are warm, cozy, comfortable, and they add height. And I really appreciate that. They're easy to get on and off. I also wanted to show you the newest pair of snow boots that I bought because I'm just really excited about the color. I know, they're white. You're like, what? They're gonna get so muddy. Yeah, they might, I don't know but they're waterproof, right? So I'll try them out this winter. I just love the way they look. I think they're so cute. These are Sorrel's, as you can see. They have great treads. 
They have a huge wedge. It's like four inches. And they're very warm. They're very comfortable. And they are lace-ups, which usually I don't do because I don't like to lace up boots. But I can actually just slip my foot on and off if the laces are a little bit on the loose side. Again, if you can't wear heels, we're going to modify and we're going to choose a different pair of flats for the heels I mentioned. If you live in a super hot climate, you may not need the rain boots and you may not need the snow boots. But in general, for most of us, that is the top 10 list. You wanna add to that, great, but these are the basics that you need to have. And when you're thinking about like, what pair of booties should I buy or what pair of knee-high boots, I hope you'll think about the criteria that I talked about during this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions, you can comment below. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, hit that red button, and also, you should go back and watch that flat video if you missed it the first time around because I think that's really helpful. I did do a video, if you're looking for more like snow boot suggestions, I did do a snow boot video, I think it was a couple years ago, but it's really still relevant. So that's another video I'll put a link to below in the description box. And of course, I will put links to all of these boots below in the description box, as well as some other suggestions as I talked about for the flats and maybe at a lower price point. That's it, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.